Hello, I'm David Hughes. Welcome to Your Perfect Body, the podcast of the Esoteric Teaching Community. Today we're going to begin our series on the Esoteric Teaching Introductory Seminar Materials with a session entitled, Everything You Think You Know Is Wrong. Do you want to know the truth, the whole truth, the absolute truth about yoga and tantra? Are you sure? What if you don't like what you hear? What if it challenges your preconceptions or bruises your ego? Will you accuse me of falsehood even though I speak the truth? Don't you know that the best and most powerful medicine is also the most bitter? My whole life has been dedicated to a search for the absolute truth, and it has been a very hard, long, and sometimes lonely road. But I have arrived. I have found what I sought. And now I want to share it with you. But are you sure? Are you really sure you want the truth? I guarantee it will change your life and transform your consciousness. But there's one caveat. Once you hear the truth, you can never go back to sleep. So, here it is. The whole, complete, absolute truth about yoga and meditation. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. One of our predecessors in the lineage of spiritual master teachers of the esoteric teaching is named Madhvacharya. When Madhvacharya was an esoteric student, he was an up-and-coming young candidate for world teacher of the lineage. But first, he had to pass a special final test. So he was called to the Grand Master's ashram, and the Grand Master offered to initiate him into a secret mantra. This mantra is so powerful that anyone who chants it in the proper way attains liberation from material existence within six months. The only condition was he had to agree to keep the mantra secret because it was just too powerful. The Grand Master told Madhvacharya that if anyone who knew the mantra revealed the secret, he would go to hell. So Madhva agreed to the conditions and was duly initiated into the secret mantra. Then, as soon as he left the Grand Master's ashram, he called together all the people he could find and initiated them into the mantra. Then he was going down the street singing and shouting this secret mantra at the top of his lungs. As soon as the Grand Master heard about this, he called Madhvacharya and asked him, Why did you reveal the mantra? Don't you know you're going to hell? Madhvacharya replied, It's all right if I go to hell. I just couldn't stand to see all these people suffering in material existence, and I wanted to give them liberation as soon as possible. So I initiated them into the mantra. And what was the result? Madhvacharya was named the next world teacher because he had passed the test. You see, the meaning of this is that he was prepared to risk his own spiritual life and well-being for the benefit of others. And that is the characteristic of a master teacher. The master teacher is ready to sacrifice his own bliss to uh, come out from the ecstatic samadhi of yoga meditation that he has achieved and go out in the world and teach people. And if you've ever tried to teach people uh, about meditation and things like that, you know that it is not an easy task. So 
the master teacher is one who is willing to make this sacrifice uh, for the benefit of others. Actually, Madhvacharya didn't have to go to hell. Don't worry about that. But the conditions of the test were such that he had to really believe that he would. Uh, and there are other examples of great souls who willingly sacrificed their peace and well-being for the benefit of others. Why? Because they understood that material conditions are temporary. So even in the case of Madhvacharya, for example, even if he had to go to hell, and that would only be for a little while, whereas spiritual existence is permanent, it's uh, eternal. So the bliss that we get from spiritual practices is eternal. It's permanent. It doesn't change. It doesn't fade. Once attained, it's there always. And the uh, real spiritual master knows this and is so confident of this that he's willing to take a risk. He's willing to take on other people's karma, actually, to uh, teach them, uh, because that's what it takes. One has to be willing to accept the association of people that one would never want to hang out with otherwise, uh, and go to so much trouble and difficulty simply to present spiritual life to them in a way that they can accept and understand. This is the challenge. So the Esoteric Teaching Seminar was developed in response to this challenge. And uh, the intention of it is to present these ancient teachings of yoga drawn from the original, complete uh, yoga literatures to contemporary people in a way that they can understand. So Madhvacharya, he went out and immediately initiated people into the highest mantra. And so since we are following in his footsteps, I think it's only right that we should initiate you into this mantra. Uh, you've heard the theme song at the beginning and end of the program. Um, that's the mantra. If you chant this mantra, uh, then you'll get the same benefits. So I'm going to initiate you into the chanting of this most powerful secret yogic mantra. You should be in a place where you can sit down and hear very carefully. I'm going to repeat the mantra three times. Then you should begin to repeat this mantra for yourself. And gradually we'll explain in great detail its meaning. Are you ready? Here it is. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Again. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya One more time. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Now, you have the most powerful mantra. It's called the Dvadasakshara Mantra, the 12-syllable mantra. It's a very famous mantra. So if you have faith in this mantra, you don't need to hear anything more. Huh? You already have it. You can now sit down anywhere. Uh, nothing more is necessary. Just go to a secluded place where you won't be disturbed. Give up everything. Remain alone and chant this mantra non-stop for six months without any deviation. And I promise that you will attain the highest stage of self-realization. So, are you all ready to do that? No? Hmm. Well, O oh ye of little faith, I have good news and I have bad news. 
The good news is now you know everything. You have, in very concentrated form, everything you need to perfect your spiritual life. This mantra is so powerful that if you go to the forest and do nothing but chant it uninterruptedly with impeccable